Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Iron Man concept series Iron Man Subterranean Armor Action Figure Set. This figure set was first released in 2008 and I got the set in 2010 when Toys R Us re-released the Iron Man uh, movie line figures uh, in 6 inch form and I bought this set for $11. Taking a look at the figure here in the package, you can see uh, the subterranean uh, armored uh, Iron Man. He comes with a power drill accessory. And I believe this is a repaint of the heavy artillery armor Iron Man on there. Taking a look here, you can see the back of the package. And we have here a description of uh, Iron Man in general. I'm getting to focus there. There we go. Uh, it's pretty hard to focus. And then there's a description of the subterranean armor Iron Man. And uh, we got a picture of uh, the subterranean armor and also uh, pictures of the figures in the uh, wave here. We have Iron Man Inferno armor, we have the Battlemonger, and the Tony Stark Iron Man Mark II on there. We'll be right back and have this uh, figure out of the package. Okay, we're back and we have the subterranean armored Iron Man out of the package. And I have to say that I am a fan of this mold. It doesn't matter how many times they repaint this guy. Uh, I will pick up uh, this uh, figure if I see it. And I just really like uh, the design aesthetic of this uh, figure. Uh, that's not to say that uh, this figure has no flaws. Uh, it does have a few flaws and we'll go into that in a little bit. Uh, but first uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this here. This is the uh, power drill accessory. And uh, at first I thought this was a uh, mechanized gimmick. I thought you had to push a button to activate uh, the spinning drill. But it, it's not. I thought this was the button itself. Uh, there are no mechanics uh, to this uh, accessory. It's just a basic uh, swivel joint on here on the drill that you manually spin yourself. And uh, another thing with this accessory, it's very, very light. It's lighter than uh, I thought it would be. Yeah, it, it uses a, It's very uh, hollowed out here and uses a, a lighter plastic on there. It's got a nice uh, bronze color here with some silver and it's kind of neat that they uh, put a wash of bronze at the tip on there. And yeah, you can see here there's a clip that uh, clips onto uh, the figure's uh, forearm and it's kind of neat because it's uh, sculpted to fit the contours of this particular uh, piece of armor on the forearm and you just clip it on top here and you can see that it fits uh, just right on top of that piece of armor. And it's kind of neat. It's not uh, too tight or too loose and stays on there uh, quite well on there. It's actually uh, kind of neat. And uh, that's the drill here that uh, Iron Man uses to, to burrow into the uh, depths of the earth there. Next up, uh, we take a look here at the figure itself, and again, I have to say I love this mold. I just really love the sculpt details on here. Very, very cool. And uh, this uh, piece of armor is a little bit bigger uh, than the standard armor, but it's not as big as some of the bulkier types of armor. And it's just uh, really cool uh, with these uh, ac accents uh, on the... Uh, shoulder here the forearm and I mean, you got the knees here and I just really love the details uh, that's uh, put into this uh, sculpt it's very very nice and even with the paint here of uh, bronze darker bronze uh, dark brown here uh, which is uh, not a very uh, enticing colors uh, it still makes this figure look nice I really do like it. And uh, let's take a look at some of the details here. It's very, very cool. You can even see some of the details in the neck area. 
and the contours there and the sculpt details is very cool I really like it and you got these uh, little circular discs here and uh, of course the arc reactor there um, it's got a little bit of a scuffing I think it was because of the plastic packaging rubbing against there uh, it's a good thing it's white that's easy to paint on that and I did uh, see some more uh, some paint scratches there and also on the back here that's a scratch in the in the paint and into the plastic itself which is unfortunate and uh, another flaw I have with the figure is this this um, right here this samurai type thing that hangs over the legs because it restricts the articulation of the legs and the posability and I'm actually thinking about putting a slice into the uh, sides here, two of them, one on each side. But just to uh, see if I can free up some of the articulation in the legs on there. And this is made of a uh, softer, uh, rubbery type plastic on there. And uh, the shoulder uh, pieces move up and down to allow you to pose the, the arms. Uh, um, that's very nice on there. And, and that's made of a uh, softer plastic as well. I just really love the design. You can see some more design accents on the sculpt there. Very, very cool on this figure. Going over the uh, articulation, uh, the head is on a ball hinged uh, joint. So it allows the head to go down, up, not too much because it rubs up against the neck here or collar area. And it doesn't go all the way around as well due to this uh, wrap-around collar on there. Which is uh, not too bad because uh, really the limits of uh, head movement is for posability. Is a, that's about as far as it'll go anyways. You really, why would you want your head, the head on backwards? But uh, still uh, it provides enough clearance uh, for posability. Uh, the arms... Uh, do go all the way around uh, you have to move the arm around uh, this uh, shoulder armor here though it does uh, go out and in and it rotates at the top of the bicep there has a uh, double uh, hinged uh, elbows which is nice the hands are on a hinged swivel joint so the hands can go all the way around and uh, in and out uh, a bit the torso on this figure uh, can go down, up, and uh, very far back, as well as uh, all the way around, uh, and not too much side to side when the uh, torso is turned. And uh, this torso is a little bit loose on here, looser than I die like. On there, uh, no waist articulation on this figure though. Uh, the legs are joined at the hip with a ball hinge uh, swivel joint and. Uh, you have to manipulate the ball joint uh, if you want to pose the legs, uh, but the the legs uh, do go up, down, and uh, slightly to the back uh, due to this uh, piece of armor here. And uh, it does go out to the side, and again restricted by the uh, plastic here. And it does uh, rotate all the way around at the uh, top of the thigh there. Double joints at the uh, knee. And uh, the uh, feet are uh, joined at the ankle on a hinged uh, swivel joint, so you can go all the way around, uh, up and down. Uh, I wish this particular uh, foot had an ankle pivot though, because uh, this wide foot, uh, it's kind of uh, funky on how some of these poses are uh, on, the, on the legs. Uh, it, they foot stands out and an ankle pivot would have been really nice on this figure. Overall I'm uh, biased to this uh, mold so <laughs> I am uh, I enjoy uh, this figure uh, no matter uh, how many times they repaint this guy. Uh, but uh, this is my uh, casual peek into the Iron Man subterranean armor uh, figure set uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time